Hey Aries, how are you doing? This is a bonus reading for Aries for the month of July. I'm the Rising and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Aries, if you're new to my channel, I'm an Aries rising and your rising sign is as important as your sun sign. So I get you guys. I feel you guys. I'm here for you guys. This is a safe place to be. So chill out, relax and enjoy the reading. What is going on for the fabulous and most magical Aries? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? The Justice card has come out in almost every single reading, starting with, I did Libra, Gemini, Leo, and now you here, Aries. So you could be dealing with something to do with a relationship, a contract, present time, justice, what's coming towards you, the world, Major Arcana for the fixed signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy. What you're focused on is the Nine of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And your blocked and challenged position is the Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And your outcome is the Eight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay, Aries, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Underneath the deck, you have the Moon. And the moon is about mystery, secrecy. It can also be something about anxiety, worry, depression, ill health, mental health. It also could be something hidden from you or what is being in your blocked and challenged position. A secret admirer, a new love, a new passion. And I also picked this up in Scorpio's reading. I'm just saying it because they had the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups in the blocked and challenged position, which is secret admirer or new love, a new passion. Present time, you have justice. And justice is about fairness, truth, balance, karma, and it's good karma. It's like karma being on your side. There could also be something about wrapping up some kind of karmic cycle, getting closure and completing and reaching some kind of milestone in your life, achievement, a goal, and then having that freedom, doing something solo and singular, maintaining your independence. Let's see what this justice card is about. It can also be like a new contract, work contract at a distance. You could also be signing something and putting your work out into the world. And or getting out of something. But you're being quiet about it. You have a new passion, a new focus. And the five of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. And the fives in the tarot signifies change. Something has to change. Something has to give. And in order for there to be change here, Aries, you have to be the change. And whatever this five of pentacles, it is a place of feeling left out in the cold, feeling like you are not enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not pretty enough. And this can be an energy of something is eating up your finances. So it could be something about a car, it can be a work situation, not being paid well, and you're like, I'm worth so much more. Because the Nine of Pentacles is about self-sufficient, self-reliable, you know your worth, you know your value. This is high self-esteem, this is low self-esteem. So there could be some kind of energy drain or an energy vampire in some kind of situation. But if there is something that you are doing, um, signing some kind of documentations, like if it's out of your hands, like if this has something to do with like insurance, it's like this is going to come out as a win for you, but needing to be patient, just keep doing your thing here. Yeah, nine of cups, wish is granted, wish fulfillment. But I also feel like there could be something about indulgence, spending too much money, eating fast foods, um, boozer, drinker, and you know, this is my victim mentality. So somebody playing the victim when really they might be the villain, you know, and it could be in some kind of contract. Let's see what this world is. 
travel, move, relocation, putting yourself out into the world. So feeling isolated or lonely in some kind of contract commitment job situation or um, that's too small of a pawn for you here Aries and you know it and the eight of swords Gemini Libra Aquarius energy and the eight of swords is about self-imposed prison feeling you're stuck tied trapped in a situation that your hands are tied you're feeling frustrated you just want to get closure or to get out of this bind and i feel like aquarius had the eight of swords in this exact spot so a lot of the readings are coming up with these contracts so that's how i know that if you're not watching or you're only watching your sun sign, I would definitely watch your sun or the like moon rising and Venus signs. And here, the nine of swords, overthinking, overanalyzing, stressed out, feeling frustrated. This is my analysis paralysis. A need for you to express something and get something off your chest. And it's almost like you're afraid to do it. But once you say it out loud, it sets you free. And this is about hand your fears over to the universe. Fear doesn't exist. Fear is what we make up in our heads that holds us back from our dreams, something we want and something that is good for us. Same thing with the moon card. It's fear it and do it anyways. What is familiar is nothing but a round and a round circle. What is outside your unfamiliar territories is everything you want, dream of, and desire. Walk the journey of the unknown and the uncertainty. Maybe things are up in the air. Use your intuition. But how can you use your intuition when your emotions, there's no emotional attachment. And I've been saying it again in a lot of the readings. Nine of Pentacles, maintain your independence, stability, prosperity. And it says, accomplished and comforter comfort so maybe you're doing something that is comfortable it's routine it's mundane but this can also be I'm bored so doing something nice for yourself focusing on your health wealth and happiness is most important to boost your confidence and self-esteem nine of pentacles is also looking good smelling good and you know kind of having this confidence yeah for some of you, you are entrepreneurs or doing something solo or this is what you want. You want to be single. You want to be solo. And the king of pentacles. Wow. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. King pen. Having your cake and eating it too. Can also something about finances. Better paying job. Taurus can be a, a stubborn energy. So you could be a little bit hesitant or stubborn. Or there's an energy here where even if you are in a commitment, Aries, maintain your independence. Because that's why the person liked you in the first place. Page of Cups. Again, that secret admirer. Or a gift, a surprise, an apology coming forth. And you might not even see it coming. This could be like a gift of cash or like you make really good money. King of Pentacles is like businessman, businesswoman, or you mean business. A needing for you to do something nice for yourself though. I feel like you do so much for others and it's actually depleting your energy. Even if it's a work contract. In your blocked and challenged position is the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is unconditional love, peace, harmony, and putting yourself on the pedestal. Putting yourself on the pedestal here, Aries, is not selfish. It's selfless and necessary. But you're blocking of wanting to bust your heart wide open to a situation, to a new path, to a new person. So it's very practical but there's no emotions. This could also be somebody who has the hots for you. Like a secret admirer. But 
there's something about this person or you have to get out of the contract to make this happen. Or distance is the problem. So your spouse could work at a distance. And the three of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy, networking. So here, if you are feeling empty and some kind of connection, commitment, or your finances, worried about your finances here, or there's somebody worried about um, losing finances or losing some kind of job position or somebody feels stuck at a distance or to get out of this. Three of Pentacles is about networking, needing to network. That means you don't have to do everything alone or on your own. Doesn't mean you can't handle it. Like, for gosh sakes, you're Aries. I can do this. I can do that. Of course you can. But this speaks of in your blocked and challenged position, let love in. Network. This is about collaboration, co-creating with others, and co-creating with spirit. What you truly want is peace and harmony and unconditional love in some kind of cooperation with a person, job, relationship. But in your blocked and challenged position, you're saying, I'm not getting any peace or cooperation here. And again, it's somebody either stubborn and being like, yeah, I work at a distance, but I make good money. Okay. But money won't bring you ultimate happiness. Emotions will bring you the highest form of love. It's about loving yourself. Knight of Cups. This is in pursuit of joy, pleasure, fun, happiness. It's a flirtation, invitation. There could also be somebody who wants to sweep you off your feet, take you on a date. But right now, it feels like you have to set a boundary. Because some of you are still in this contract. In your outcome is the Eight of Pentacles. Education, achievement, hard work, and results. And bees like honey, but so do flies. You have two eights here. I feel like closer to Leo season or even Libra season. And you're like, I can't wait to Libra season. <laughs> that this comes through, okay? Whatever this contract is. And I feel like you're being paid or there's somebody who definitely provides here. Eight of Pentacles, Mastery of Craft. Like you're really, really, really good at what it is that you do, but you're putting in the quality of work. People like working with you. But I feel like you're doing a lot of this alone. Even if you aren't alone, um, there's something about distance or feeling like your needs aren't getting met. Well, how can our needs get met when you're not expressing this? You might be feeling this way, but Eight of Swords is doing a lot of thinking but not talking about the problem. Again, the vulnerability, but it's almost like afraid to say something. Aries being afraid? Hmm. And the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. The Four of Pentacles has been all up in Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, and now you here, Aries. So there's something going on with the air and fire signs here, or you're dating or dealing or contracting with these signs. Ten of Cups. There's your happily ever after, commitment, loyalty, family, love, support. But these supportive people could be at a distance. Four of Pentacles is to withdraw from working on some kind of situation. There could also be some kind of halt. Because Four of Pentacles can be 
dealing with somebody who is selfish, self-centered, very greedy, only gives you the time of day when they feel like giving you the time of day. And you're like, how can I work on this when somebody is suppressing their feelings, bottling up their feelings? And yeah, it looks good on paper. It's very practical. Maybe you make good money. Your spouse makes good money, but there's something about the collaboration, like needing to involve another person. And again, no cups. In your blocked and challenged position is the highest form of love, which is the ace of cups. And at the bottom of the deck is ten of cups. It's like longing for that connection. And you may be withdrawing from some kind of work situation or a need for you to express something, get something off your chest. And you might be afraid to say something, but fear it and do it anyways. Everything's okay, the universe. Big news. Reassurance, support, guidance, and overseen. So your past on loved, one, loved ones, angels, the universe has a hand in here. Wise decision. And just saying, if you're dealing with a Leo, Leo had both of those cards in the exact same position. And plus I shuffled these cards and you can see how many cards are in this deck. Wise decision. The universe, your past on loved ones, your guides, your angels are clapping for you. You're never alone, even if you feel alone. Accurate, brilliant, organized, and validated. You don't need anybody's validation and approval to do what Aries needs to do. A blessing in disguise. Scorpio had this card as well. And Libra. It means dodging a bullet or bursting somebody's bubble. Or this could be number 16, which is the tower, which is upheaval, uprooting, or a significant change. Huge realization, revelation, trust, revelation, significance, and surprise. So there could be something ending by surprise like withdrawing from some kind of work situation or job situation or even a commitment and in your blocked and challenged position there's there's new love though or to network networking because this is angst un, unaware significance and expectation so having an expectation of how you should act or how you should fall in line, but then again, you're Aries, <laughs> you know, nobody's going to tell what Aries what to do. Yeah. And this says misinformed, rethink, uh, disarray and overlooked goldfish. Maybe you do feel overlooked. Maybe you feel like you went for a job position and this person kind of poo-pooed you. Goldfish, increase in material wealth and spiritual growth by maintaining your independence. Dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Flowers, happiness. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Butterfly, a change for the better. It's a blessing in disguise. Barrel. And this is that five of pentacles. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals.
heart, love, deep affection, and caring. Yeah, bust this big, huge heart of yours open here, Aries. Even if something about a situation, there's something about getting closure on a situation that makes you feel stuck. It could be a job situation. And Ten of Cups, some of you are going to do something solo or work from home. But there's family here. You have support. So you're never alone, even if you feel alone. And the only reason why you feel alone is because you're suppressing your feelings. You're thinking about a problem but not talking about it. Pin, new job, career, and rooster. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So again, somebody greedy, selfish, self-centered. Maybe that's why you just bottle up your feelings, walk on eggshells with this person because you know that they're extremely reactive and or super duper fixed in their own ways. Like super set in stone. Nothing can change. This how it has to go. That's what it feels like. And it could be your boss and you're just like, oh, it's so hard to work for this person. It's so boring, <laughs> right? I'm bored. And uh, yeah, and again, I got that. I picked that up in Scorpio's reading. This is boring. And don't get distracted. Focus on you, you grow. Focus on shish, shish grows. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you resonate with this. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.